Hey everybody, this is Pajama Prime, back for another Transformers review. This time I'm finally getting to Bruticus Maximus, and I'm going to start off with what I deem the arms, or I guess the heli- And we're going to start off with the helicopters, Vortex, yay, and Swindle, meh. Nee. You can't touch this. You can't touch this. You can't touch this. You can't touch this. Okay, here we are with the video review for Swindle and Blastoff, two of the Revenge of the Fallen Combaticons. Now, I kind of like these guys um, more in robot mode, obviously, than, than alt mode. Um, and I, just for the fact that, well, hopefully, Swindle will be replaced by a fans project Jeep, uh, I kind of like Blastoff a bit better, in, just in both modes in general. So yeah, I'm going to be transforming one into a limb and one into a robot. But first, we're going to compare these two limbs, or these two helicopters, to the arm of uh, Superion. So this is Air Raid. And as you can see, they're a bit taller than Air Raid is. And uh, But Air Raid is still a bit wider, unless you count the blade wingspan, then they're much wider than Air Raid, but let's not count that. So, uh, we're going to do, we're going to transfla transform Blastoff into the, uh, into the robot, so we'll move Swindle out of the way for a sec, and to transform Blastoff, first you want to get rid of the Energon weapon. Which is a uh, interesting thing. And what you want to do first is take the arms and bring them out and rotate them around. Then take these two panels, these gray panels right here at the top and open those up too, all the way, like so. Uh, then you want to unpeg the legs, straighten them out, bring them, make sure they're rotated around to the back, flip down the feet, rotate the entire waist around, take the tail Take the bottom of the tail and rotate it around so that it's sitting opposite the front. Then you take and you take the cockpit, bring it down, snap it in. Does it snap in? Supposed to. Oh, yeah, just kind of clicks into place. And then finally, what you want to do is take the rotors and you want to just. Oh, no, it's the other way. There. And there's going to be a groove, the same groove in which it keeps it straight, like outward in, in uh, helicopter mode. It uh, will keep them clipped together in robot or the same groove that kept it together them straightened in vehicle mode will keep them together in robot mode as well which is pretty cool and there's blast off he's pretty cool oh, I forgot to mention the uh, little indicator that shows you he's blast off here it says v1 I don't know if you can see it from there and uh, yeah, he's pretty cool. Pose, posability, or uh, articulation, includes uh, ball jointed arms, um, ball jointed shoulder elbows, uh, ball jointed hips and knees, and uh, some feet there. Just kind of do, does that for tra transformation. And the head is on a swivel. Goes full 360. And of 
course, you can give him the Energon weapon. To turn it into a gun, you uh, just basically turn these outer sections around, 180 to be exact, and uh, you can kind of you can either keep this this all the way up, the this part all the way up, or you can flip it to one side depending on which side you're which hand you're going to put it in. And there's two pegs, um, so you can decide which hand it'll go in. It doesn't really matter once fa fans pro once uh, it doesn't really matter once TF Crossfire 2 comes out. These will be obsolete again. I cannot wait for that figure. I have a nerdgasm every time I look at Explorer. Alright, so there's Blast Off. And just to compare him to uh, an aerial bot, I have Slingshot in robot mode here. Fully decked out with uh, Fans Project stuff. And Blast Off is a little bit smaller than, uh, than Slingshot. About, uh, if you look here, just sl slightly smaller. His head comes to about slingshot, Slingshot's shoulders, or his, his eyes come, about, come up to about his shoulders. So, yeah. At the two. Very cool. Now we'll take these away. And we'll get on to Swindle. Now one thing I forgot to mention is that these guys come with, they both have cockpits, which is pretty cool. Do they even open? No, they don't. It's just kind of loose. But uh, they do come with cockpits, which looks like it can hold two people, which is pretty cool. And uh, Swindle's indicator is an S. It's also a dollar sign because we all know that Swindle was a bit of a hustler or a swindler. All right, so to transform Swindle, first you want to take his gun. Well, well, you don't need to take it first. Let's just do that first. I'm going to basically turn it into a gun. And as you can kind of see, it doubles as a hand. It, I think that's why most people like the helicopters as the, as the arms because these guns look the most like hands. Anyway, put that to the side. So what you're going to do with Swindle, first let's take the helicopter blades, put them down like this, but then you're going to start taking them into robot mode, but not fully do that. Pop them up in the, uh, the arms, take these Take these top tabs or top bits and move them out to the side. Then you're going to take the top cockpit with the head, with the head. Then you're going to take this section here. Uh, will it even work? Yes, it will. You're going to take this, this tan section and bring it down further. And before we do that, we need to disconnect the legs and turn the torso, or turn the waist around so that this will fit. Then you want to take the legs, straighten them out, and rotate them. Rotate them that so that so that the lower leg is facing downwards like this, facing towards the rotor basically. Then what you're going to do is, I like to do this and it helps the, le the feet not get out of place. Uh, you're going to take the, the rear rotor and stick it in between the legs. It helps, trust me. Then what you're going to do is take the arms, rotate them around so that these little notches here uh, work that can plug into the 
little tabs on the on the legs, like so. And you essentially have the the arm. Next, all you want to do is plug the hand into Swindle's feet. And you're going to want to put the thumb towards the cockpit. Again, here's Swindle, and here's Blast Off. And uh, yeah, that's the helicopters. Uh, next, I'm going to be doing the tanks, and then eventually, I'm going to be doing the I'm going to be doing onslaught, and then of course, I'm going to combine them. Anyway, this is Pajama Prime, and I'll talk at you later.